The fourth victim of a head-on horror crash which claimed the lives of six people was recently freed from jail after being caught by police in a 130 miles per hour chase. Kassar Jedgar, 25, was named by neighbours as one of the six victims in the shocking crash in Birmingham city centre. But locals told how he had just been released from jail after admitting driving dangerously and possessing drugs with an intent to supply. He died after the RDS-3 he was in mounted a central reservation of an underpass before hitting the car being driven by taxi driver Imshas Muhammad, 33, who was killed instantly. Mr. Muhammad's family has revealed they are still waiting to break the tragic news to his youngest children. The third victim of the crash was earlier named as 30. Year old Muhammad Fasha? Torkir Hussein, 26, who was in the Audi, was also killed. Kassar Jedgar, 25, was named by neighbours as one of the six victims in the shocking crash in Birmingham city centre. Jedgar, pictured, was sentenced to 36 months for the drugs offences in November 2016. Muhammad Fasha, 30, pictured, was killed following the horror crash in Birmingham. Imshas Muhammad, 33, pictured left, died in the smash in Lee Bank Middleway. He was described by his devastated family as a legend. Torkir Hussein, pictured right, from Small Heath, Birmingham, was confirmed as having been in the Audi travelling in the other direction. Taxo driver Mr Muhammad's family paid tribute to a loving and hard-working man following the tragic crash. A 42-year-old man and 43 year old woman who were passengers in the seven-seater cab also died. A 22-year-old man from the Audi is fighting for his life in hospital. Mr. Muhammad's father Iksar said that three of the taxi driver's young daughters are still unaware of their father's death. It comes more than two years after Jagger was arrested on July 18, 2015 when police had begun monitoring an Audi S3 in Peckridge, Staffordshire. Officers became aware of the Audi at 2.40m after a tip-off that the occupants were involved in drug dealing. As they then tried to pull it over, Jedgar accelerated in the high-powered Audi down the M6 weaving dangerously between lanes. Dashcam footage released by the police then showed the moment occupants hurled out heroin creating a huge brown plume. Jedgar pleaded guilty at Birmingham Crown Court and was sentenced to 36 months for the drugs offences in November 2016. He was also sentenced to 11 months, to be served concurrently, for the dangerous driving which he had admitted at an earlier hearing. A second man Adil Aftab, 22, also pleaded guilty to possession with intent to supply. Neighbours in Small Heath, Birmingham, told how Farsa was obsessed by cars. One said, I used to see him driving past my house in a variety of cars. There is a fast car culture around here. It's just tragic when the young people involved in it get hurt. Another neighbor of Farsa added, they are a lovely family. It's so sad what's happened. I know all the young lads were friends as they were so similar in age. I used to see them hanging about together.